everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing amazing i have just well not long said goodbye to the boys who've gone to their dads for the night i'm just gonna curl my hair whilst i'm chatting to you oh rudy now is not the time mate it's not what <laughs> no every time you hear me talking yeah i'm gonna quickly curl my hair very like not not anything fancy just sticking a few curls in it and then whilst it's dry this weather is driving me absolutely insane but whilst it is dry i'm going to go and paint the patio which is a random sentence it does look like it's gonna rain again though it's like on off all day so far it's about well it's just after dinner now but i'm hoping that i get time to just paint it i need to clean up the patio i painted it like three years ago i just used masonry paint which apparently is not the right paint for the job but it worked for me so i'm certainly not doing anything in a professional manner and i'm just going to do things the way i want to do them <laughs> if you're like a professional i know i, I just i know um i'm even going to paint my patio cushions but what, what every time i curl my hair when i'm filming it is the worst like i'll just look like i don't know how to do it yeah i'm gonna paint my patio cushions because why not they need replacing so i thought instead of replacing them because i have looked high and low for new rattan cushions they're so expensive like i don't want to spend all that money when i've got them they just need to clean it up so i'm actually going to paint them and just see how they turn out and it doesn't matter too much if they're not any good because they need replacing anyway or new covers so i'm just going to be painting everything outside basically because everything is just so scruffy looking and it makes such a difference i love how much of a difference it makes when you put a fresh look of paint on everything i need to do everything in the house as well i have also very excited because my new hair extensions came today i'm not going to do them today because i can't be bothered with that it's a bit of a process i wear tape extensions i've put been putting less bleach in my real hair so I wanted something a little bit less blonde so um i'll show them in just a second i've gone for a little bit longer as well the tape extensions i get are from foxy locks and i've gone for 20 inches where these ones were eight, i think 18 or 16 not sure and i've gone for the shade brondy this time i just put them in myself they are not cheap like it is a bit of a, an investment but the tape extensions last a good year and for me i don't go to the hairdressers like i think and that's how i justify it to myself um because i don't go to the hairdressers I do everything very diy so i just figure that all of the money that i save on hair appointments is how i justify how much these tape extensions are and these ones they are really good and yeah i went for the shade brondy it's like subtly different but it's just got more dark running through it and i think that's just gonna be a big sigh I'm Rudy. You're sick of hearing me going on about things like this. Um, I think it's going to be a much better match. I need to do something with my roots as well because they're so grey. Um, but they're so soft. So excited to get them in. It's just a bit of a process. Obviously, taking out the old ones. I know some people have asked me to show how I do it and how I put them in and all of that. But there's always something that makes me nervous about showing things that I am... Um, not an expert in because you always get comments or people that will say that's a terrible way to do it like i'm fully aware that it's all very diy i mean tape extensions are pretty straightforward to be fair you literally untape the tape and sandwich two pieces together in the hair um, and then they grow out this is what they're like in the hair then they grow out and sort of you know slightly moving then you just redo that every six weeks and i get tape remover spray just off amazon and the new tapes so you spray them with the tape remover spray that loosens all of the glue and then scrape off the old glue tabs it's literally like double-sided tape on each of the of the tips i have been wearing tape extensions for i don't know for a few for a few years now um, I don't really have a break from them. I just will take them out, leave them out for a couple of days and then put new ones in. I haven't found that the tape extensions do any damage. So I can't really imagine though now never having them in. Like I just love them. And it's always sad taking them out and seeing that my real hair is 
nothing like this <laughs> nothing nothing as thick and long but yeah i am going to do that at some point because I, i'm excited to get all that changed over and to have it'll be slightly longer and it'll be slightly darker because i don't want to keep putting bleach in my hair or you know much bleach because it's it is not a fan of it because my hair is naturally like so dark i've also got a load of new look clothes i'll show a bit later on if i do get time to go out and do this patio i've got to put my bedding on have a little tidy up which is what i always do when the boys <laughs> go it's like as soon as they go i'm like right bleachy bedroom did not mean to be buying more clothes but new look is really like surprising me lately i feel like it's giving real river island vibes like there's so many gorgeous things on their website i could have had everything and i've tried on i'm looking at it now it's all piled up next to me about 80 percent of things and really happy with everything so far loads of gorgeous things for spring like these shoes for example how gorgeous are these sliders um which were 27.99 and they're really soft as well um when i've tried them on don't cut into your feet or anything which can be always the danger with sandals like that can't it but i'm gonna finish curling my hair I'm not even properly looking in the mirror whilst i do this and then get outside sort my wig out first never met someone like you uh, felt something like your touch i wish we would have met tonight sure i've had lovers in my past won't lie i've had a blast but none of them had your humor So this is the patio area, I decided not to paint it in the end, that's just my little tester one, but I decided it probably wasn't a good idea to paint it this particular day because it was clearly going to rain. So just as I finished my hair, my decking paint came in the post, so perfect timing to get the decking painted. So I've been storing all of my new purchases on the decking space as well because there is a roof above it so nothing can get wet. Um, but that is why it is looking so crazy cluttered so and just an absolute mess i'm embarrassed of how messy this has got so i'm taking everything off i've also got like all my cardboard boxes that i need to break down and put in the bin that's stored under there it's literally like treated like a garage even though it's not got any walls or my shed just for storing recycling and all sorts of things so yeah i'm good it's got all that horrible green moss on it as well so i'm giving it a good sweep i'm even hoovering it because i just feel like that gets in all of the gaps of the decking much better um and this is the paint that i use is the silver birch by cooper and all shade and this just goes on like a dream i will have many people i'm sure telling me that i should have uh, used a bigger brush and used like a, a a sweeping brush to save my back I am very impatient this is what i had so this is what i used it's like a, a fence uh paintbrush which worked amazingly and my back was absolutely fine so don't worry it just went on really easily and just was quite a quick process but just the general faffing about outside and just sort of thinking about where i wanted things and that it did end up taking me a lot longer than planned um but i'm so glad that has had a fresh look of paint now i need to do the fence panels and the concrete posts um absolutely loads to do but i'm really pleased that i got this big space done had enough of painting i'm still covered in paint but i am starving so i've just ordered myself this pizza off delivery which is oh it's all the good stuff it's like feta spinach and then i also got myself a little 
chocolate brownie which comes with strawberries so i don't know if i'll manage it all probably will to how hungry i'm feeling but i'm just gonna sit and watch some tv and then i'll show all of my new look stuff how good does that look all right i've just come upstairs i need to put my bedding on which is now dry but i know there is gonna be a little someone in here call this that archie's leaving archie did his all little easter pictures the other day this one was for me it says mom <laughs> very american yeah there's definitely a little furry creature in here excuse me Excuse me, I need to make the bed. You're not supposed to be on here. Are you? They're going to come off so I can put the fresh bedding on and you can mess that up. <laughs> oh, you gorgeous boy. You had a pup cake the other day, didn't you? You have to lay off the treats a bit. <laughs> I've made the bed even though the reality is I'll be getting in it soon please excuse the fact that I have still got paint on me um I'm gonna get in the bath soon scrub it all off yeah I've got it everywhere I've got it in my hair as well I'm glad I haven't put that new ow I'm glad I haven't got put that new hair in yet but I'm gonna show you everything from new look now and I'll insert little try and try on clips at the side so obviously I showed these before which more than impressed with cannot wait to wear these it's been like really annoying weather today like i said it's like windy kept showering and was a little bit cold but then when the sun was out it was like a little reminder that it is going to be warm soon and i am looking forward to having some like open toe sandals on i always prefer things like this maybe i'm just really lazy but it just drives me mad lacing up your trainers if you're in and out the house a lot so i like having a quick slip on shoe so i'm dead impressed with these i got another pair as well so i've got black ones because i don't actually have any black sliders and then i've got some beige ones how gorgeous are those one of these was from the wide fit section it might have been these actually because i've said a few times about my wide old feet um they're vegan Vegan shoes at 29.99. I definitely think that New Look's prices have come up a little bit, but the selection of things on their website, like their handbags and things, like you could mistake them for River Island. I did have a few in my basket and I thought, don't be ridiculous, you don't need another bag. But they do have really nice ones. They have really nice like holiday bags. All of the, oh, what's it called when it's like wicker, but it's not straw bags. I don't know, but they've got really nice bags for if you're going on holiday. And I thought these are gonna go with loads of things in the summer and spring months. Dead soft, adjustable as well. So those are the shoes that I got. Loving midi skirts at the moment, midi skirts and t-shirts. So I've got this pink one, which is very similar to a pink skirt that I've had from New Look before. I think it's basically the same style and the difference with this one is in a size bigger. The other one was smaller. We don't need that kind of negativity when a skirt has gotten a little bit tight, we just get a new skirt. <laughs> so I got this one because I thought that's gonna be really nice for the summer, with like a white t-shirt, white vest top, some flip flops or some nice white trainers. It's got a slit up the front as well. Um, and it's like a midi skirt, I'm five foot two, so it's quite long on me. But isn't it pretty? Just a really feminine, girly design. With a side zip, it fits lovely. That was at 25.99. And then this skirt, I've got nowhere to wear a sequin skirt but it was in the sale and I just loved it so it's supposed to be 36.99 I think it was 15 pound it's a quiz skirt I think I made that up I'm sure it's quiz yeah quiz but it's from new look I just needed it and I'm like a magpie I'm drawn to anything sparkly a sequin pencil skirt that's got like a ruche detail at the front which is really flattering I'm going to find somewhere to wear this 100% even if it ends up being on the school run <laughs> I just loved it and the fact that it was in the sale i'll link all these below but they had a few, not many sizes left it's like double double layered you just gotta love a sequin haven't you i've got a black silk cami top that i'm thinking might look quite nice with that we'll see um i got this top which is quite funny well it's not funny but <laughs> this was a top i actually owned this exact top about eight years ago that i bought from new look 
I think it was it wasn't a new look design though it was um what was the one that they used to do in there maybe they still do I can't remember it was like how they do quiz they did something else anyway I I had this exact top. So, oh, I'll tell you what, it's very slightly different on the sleeves, just how it opens up. But I loved it so much and I wore it to death and it just got a little bit tatty and just worn out. So I put it in a charity bag, but now they've started redoing it. They also have it in black, but I loved it so, so much. And I thought, well, I'm going to buy it again. And it goes with loads of things. It's really nice for the summer with like light denim jeans it was at 25.99 again i got it in a small and i love it i love all the embroidery detail i love that it's a bit lacy like sheer sleeve on it and then it's got an elasticated waist so it pulls in at the waist and it was always like my favorite top and i was a bit gutted when it was going a bit discolored because i'd worn it to death so i'm very happy that i found that again and like i say yeah they do do it in black it's just a very pretty feminine top and i loved this as well not always one for like bright colours. When it comes to spring and summer, it's more likely you'll see me in something that's not beige or black. And I got this bodysuit, which is this gorgeous orange colour. How nice for holidays. This would go with so many things. I've got like some black linen trousers that this would look really nice with, I think. Just floaty trousers. Again, tucked into jeans for a night out. Like loads, it'll go with loads of things. It was a 17 99 I got it in a size 8. It's got adjustable straps as well, which I love because a lot of the time they're a bit big on me and they'll gape and I hate that. So I love that when, they, when they're adjustable. It's got this like built-in bra detail. God, look at that paint. <laughs> yeah, I really, really like it and I can think of loads of things to wear it with. I think it's like a thong back on it. It feels really soft and stretchy as well, which is what you want. Am I the only one who sometimes will have a bodysuit on and not do it up sometimes just out of laziness and you can end up walking around with like this little tail <laughs> because you've not done your bodysuit up or is that just me <laughs> try not to make a habit of that this is another skirt that is very similar to one that i owned years ago a leopard print one this is like an upgraded version of it i i'm just scaring myself here oh, you know when you think you see something out the corner of your eye i didn't it must have been my hair why am I doing this to myself when I'm home alone? No, it must have been my hair. We'll carry on. Ignore me. I'm being ridiculous. Just very, for a split second there, I look like somebody like poked her head around my door. <laughs> I'm scared of myself now. No, I think it must have been my hair in like my peripheral vision. wasn't it guys that's what it was of course it was i got this skirt which is very similar <laughs> no i'm i'm being ridiculous um yeah very similar to a skirt that i uh, owned years ago that again like the, the button fell off it it's just not as not I've, I've still got it i think i've still got it but i much prefer this design because it's uh, like the one i had before is like a leopard print one but this one's a bit more updated and it's got ruffles so got ruffles the other one doesn't have ruffles it's another like sort of updated version that they've done i've got it in a small genie london whatever brand that is that new look do and it's just a tie around the middle again really flattering new look i've got so many flattering skirts i follow a lady on instagram called i think her name's mid-size sammy or something like that and she has such a gorgeous figure and she's always showing things that is like flattering so like flattering skirts on your tummy and things um or if you're bigger busted which i'm obviously not so none of that is really very relevant to me but she just she puts together really nice outfits in my opinion she's uk as well so it's all stuff that you can get over here but she shows loads of things from new look that's like flattering midi skirts and dresses and i do think that's quite a flattering one especially with the ruffles i think that's quite good at sort of if you're a bit bloated or something and yeah it's a midi skirt that just really simple outfit black t-shirt leather jacket pair of pumps just looks really nice and then i got this absolutely gorgeous jacket it's like a biker jacket this suede it's so soft it is the softest jacket ever how gorgeous is this i was eyeing one up on river island i said it in a video i was like showing it in river island and it was 60 pound but i got this one in the end which is kind of similar 
This was $44.99, it's a quiz one. It's cropped, it's a really good length for me because sometimes with being short, they can come to really funny lengths if they're not in the petite section. Like just a really awkward length below the hips where it just doesn't look like, just doesn't look quite right if you've got a shorter body. This is a really nice cropped length and the softness of it is just gorgeous. And just, I'm gonna say it again, but I did have a similar jacket to this years ago, but it was more pink than this. So this is all like a more modern day version of clothes that I've had before really. Got it in a 10 and I'm so excited to wear this. I just need, like I'm still wearing my big coat a lot of the time, like my big thick puffy coat in the weather that we've been having lately. So I just need it to warm up a little bit so I can wear nicer jackets and not just wear my like duvet coat. Cause I'm always cold anyway, so we need a bit more warmth. I'm excited to style that up with different things. Oh, and I just got a couple of bits of jewellery as well. I just love my jewellery. I got this double necklace. How nice is that? Like a little pearl necklace and then I've got an eye on it on the gold on the gold chain. I think it's just got one one attachment, yeah, all attached together. I love that. And then I got these earrings. How gorgeous are those? Really pretty, sparkly earrings. So the earrings were $5.99 and the necklace was $7.99, which I think is a really good price. So yeah, there we are. That is my new look haul. I will be back again tomorrow. I'm going to go and get a bath, stop scaring myself as well, whilst I'm, I'm going to like <laughs> get a grip, get a bath, get the paint off me and get to bed. And then tomorrow I will probably be doing more painting outside and pottering around in the garden. I need to clean the house up a bit as well because I never actually got around to doing any of that because I spent all day pretty much in and out out in the garden but I think tomorrow is going to be a bit milder and hopefully stay dry so I should be able to get some more things done yeah nothing exciting but just normal every everyday life pottering it's my favorite thing to do really I think pottering around your own house making it nice getting to spend time in the garden when the weather's a bit better it just gives me that little bit of joy so that's the plan for tomorrow no crazy days out just a hell of a lot more painting I imagine <laughs> So I'll just get covered in more. But it's going to look good. I've got a high hope. So yeah, I'll catch up with you then. The brightest sky I have ever seen The most colourful one I could dream You wake me up with a new eye Good morning. So this is the next day, obviously, I'm just making myself my morning coffee, giving Rudy a few treats, which obviously the last one he has to go and take um, into the other room to have in private for some reason. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to give the house a bit of a tidy because does anyone else, if you're doing jobs outside in the garden, like the house just gets completely neglected, doesn't it? So I'm just giving it a quick tidy up. I feel like that's what I say all the time lately, a quick tidy up, when realistically the house needs a deep clean, but I ain't got time for that. Um, so we're just going to give it a quick tidy up and just go over the work tops, wash any dishes that are in the sink, give the kitchen floors a good hoover, um, and the same sort of thing in the living room. So just a quick speed clean. <music>
first time I ever saw you I fell in love when you entered the room And when the light hit your face We were just kids but I knew right away That I will be with you until I stop breathing I did end up getting back outside just any time the sun was shining I managed to get a little bit done in the garden I am so excited to show you this properly when it's finished so I had my old rattan table and chairs that were black they are on their last legs really um, they've definitely seen better days they're a little bit rusted underneath but I thought why not just try and upcycle them a bit so that they can last me that little bit longer so I just found some paint some masonry paint actually is what i used on this which so far is working an absolute dream and has turned them from black to cream um, and i absolutely love them i need to do another coat i've also got uh, the idea to paint all of the cushions that go on them so that's turning out really well as well because the cushions were destroyed it needed to be binned cannot get the stains out I thought about dyeing them all sorts but then I thought actually I'm going to use this paint again some paint that I found in the shed which is actually shed paint that is working so well I'm sure there'll be a million people that will say don't do that that's not what you should put on them but they were either going to go in the bin or this was an option and they're not crunchy it's covered the stains amazingly it's pretty good colour match to be honest and I am so pleased that I just went for it and gave it a try because it's worked really well and I will be showing it properly when it's all done because these things just take so much longer than I always think they're going to take so I'm going to show it properly in a video where I'll show the whole garden transformation so I cannot wait to show you that and after lots of painting I managed to get a quick walk in whilst the sun was shining and I see Nick dog walk this makes me so excited for summer just I love being out with the dog when the weather gets a bit nicer and then before I know it the boys were back so this was the end of me filming anything so I'm gonna end the video here I have got some very exciting videos coming up including me shopping around the world's biggest Primark which is the one in Birmingham which I'm really excited about so make sure you're subscribed and yeah come back again for my next one Bye everyone!